changed reality. As I mentioned, you know, some of you came in later. We have uh, copies of those CDs, especially if you missed last week. And I know for myself, um, sharing that message last week, uh, I had to get it first, and it was a message for my own life. And I, I took it in the, the, the copy, the master copy, and started listening to it as soon as I could because I needed to hear it again. Unfortunately, uh, at first it wasn't working, but after prayer and miracle from heaven, it started working, and so we got copies made. And so those of you that missed that, and little did I know, and one of the reasons I wanted to listen to it again, little did I know how, how, um, how much of a challenge it would be to apply what I spoke about as the week went on. <clears throat> Seeds are so powerful. Amen. And, and to put faith in something that is often mistaken as something that is so small and something that is looks so insignificant is a powerful thing. Mm -hmm. Because it is a mistake to see a seed as small and insignificant. Because a seed in God's hands is a harvest waiting to happen. Amen. A seed in God's hands is like an oak tree. The seed of that the root of that being planted, but the end results. Many of you know about oak trees. The roots go deep. The trees are strong. And they live for years on end. And so what is in the seed that God places in our hands has incredible potential. It's like the saying that has been said so many times, but it's worth repeating this morning. Little is much when God is in it. Right. Little is much when it is placed in God's hands. What the enemy wants us to do is spend our life planting seeds that are not righteous. And I'm not even talking about deep, dark sin. Come on. I'm talking about seeds that are not based on the book, the word. Right. And so he wants us to spend our lives planting seeds that are not righteous. Yes, sin, as we would call it. But even beyond that, for the believer to not plant seeds of righteousness or the seeds of the word of God. Because he understands that when we plant those seeds with a pure heart, I didn't say a perfect heart, because none of us are perfect, but with a pure heart, with a heart that loves God, that the seed will produce harvest as we put it in God's hands and we plant it in God's kingdom and we allow the Holy Spirit to water it day in and day out. Amen. It will produce Amen. Harvest. Amen. I mentioned the verse in the Old Testament, and I don't plan to do a lot of repeating today, but some of it is groundwork for where we're going. But the Bible tells us very clearly that as long as the sun comes up in the morning and goes down in the evening, the law of sowing seed, sowing and reaping will remain. So as long as that sun keeps coming up and keeps going down, the power of the seed will remain. And the seed is so powerful that it has the potential to change reality. Amen. I've said it before, but it bears repeating. Faith is not denying reality. But faith is denying that reality to remain. Did you get what I said? Yes, sir. So some people 
I don't know, you might say, take it a little too far, or some people get a little off base and get out of the lines of the scripture. But faith doesn't mean that we deny that there is this reality that exists. But we do not feed that reality by saying, this is the way it is, and this is the way it will always be. That's unrighteous seed. And when doing that, you get what you're saying. The reality is, and the reality remains. But when you stand in faith, and you say, I don't deny the fact that this is a physical, natural reality here on earth, but I deny the right for that reality to remain because I know heaven came to earth in the form of Jesus Christ. He died on the cross, rose again, defeated death, hell, and the grave, and He's given me the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and He sits in high authority above all principalities, power, might, and dominion, and the book of Ephesians says that I sit with Him in heavenly places, and therefore I have authority, and my authority includes using the power of the seed that is based on the Word 